Coachella 2024 just ended. Sadly, had to come to an end. Sadly, how are you guys feeling, man? Well, um, I mean, a little sad, you know, that it has come to an end, but, you know, just eternally grateful that made it through a whole nother weekend of just good, good vibes and good music, good atmospheres everywhere. Even just walking, you know, stage to stage. Just it's, feels good, huh? Just, just feels to, good, like, yeah. You're in the open. Like, when do you walk on, like, an open grass and see that many people? It's just to see everyone in unison, you know, having a great time. Yeah. For me, I'm tired. First and uh-huh. foremost. Yeah, huh? yeah. I'm gassed. I'm not sad. <laughs> I'm not sad. I have no feelings. Yeah, in my yeah, lower no, body. yeah, I am just uh I walked I think I counted it, it was like over fifty miles. Fifty miles? Fifty miles. I took uh, I was checking my Samsung health. And uh <laughs> you're just, <I'm> not, <laughs> okay. yeah, yeah. just throw that in there. Yeah, just throw that in there. Let everybody know I'm a green bubble. Exactly, that's probably why. But no, yeah, I was I was tired because there's el primer minuto. You know, we started this all started on Wednesday for us. You know, it was just uh, when another was Wednesday. Like packing and yeah, packing. Wednesday was packing the cars. You know, my brother had just arrived from from back home and uh, from another valley. Yeah, from the other valley. So where are you guys coming from? Where are you coming from? I'm coming from the Central Valley, north of Fresno. North. Well, it's called Chowchilla, so kind of, you know, Coachella, Chowchilla. That's so I have, that's why I feel like home, you know? <laughs> <laughs> How long is the drive? Uh, well, it's five hours to uh, his pad, but like here, probably like six, give or take. Six hours, and then you live in Montebello? Yeah, I live in Montebello, the beautiful mount, you know, beautiful little hill, um, East LA. Been there for a little bit, so I'm coming from there today. And then uh, this is your second, third Coachella? Yeah, back to back, second. Yeah, back to back, second. This is our second. And definitely 100% better than last year's. You thought this year was better? Yeah, yeah, definitely 100%. I mean, yeah, from day zero, I was just high energy. We were so organized um, that I just felt everywhere we were going, we were just leading uh, me and you and you know, a couple of other people were really leading our big group. We had a big group this time. And, yeah. Uh, well, how many people that was in the campus? So we had seven campy spots. Yeah, seven. A bunch of groups. People came from all over the place. And it was, uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, like 13 people, I believe. 13 people. Yeah, 13. Yeah. 13 of us. All right, so let's take it back to uh, what time do you guys go into the camping, camping site? Uh, we got to the campgrounds at about uh, 3.15, 3.45. We left, well, we left, like at 3:15. We left our friend's house at 3.15, got to the camp and figured out how to get around the place um, to get into the checkpoint, right? Yeah. Checkpoint, we all, we're still in a kind of caravan. Uh, we were seven cars caravan. And so uh, 3.45, me, me and a couple of us, we got into a short lane and easy. We were inside. We waited maybe... 25 minutes. Yeah, because there's two entrances, huh? Yeah. They were sending some people like through another street. And then... Exactly. ¿Qué vieron? ¿Qué uh, que fueron lo que vieron el viernes? What did you see on Friday? Well, Fuimos a la Sahara, Playa yeah. Luego, entrando. Yeah. Yeah. ¿A ver a quién? A Clooney. A Clooney. 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 Oh, I went to see Clooney yeah. too. So, eso fue el primer set in the new Sahara. Oh, oh man. This, yeah. this stage is something else. Dude, dude. the Sahara is I say crazy. everybody who is trying to go to Coachella a weekend to or anytime in the future, <laughs> please make sure you go to the Sahara and check out this new, this new stage, man. The sound is unbelievable. The light show. And it feels like you're closer to the artist because it's like, uh-huh. instead of being wide, it's more like long. It's long yeah. sideways. Yeah, so exactly. the artists are kind of close to you because it fits more people. Uh-huh, so uh-huh. the it's screen in, is you massive. You feel intimate. It feels yeah, it feels intimate. like an intimate, but so many people there. Yeah, yeah, and then they added a hill on uh-huh. the right. Oh, man, the hill, it's got a really nice view. We, what we did, we kind of like, let's go back. Clooney, right? <laughs> <laughs> Clooney, Sahara. Um, where did we go after that? Clooney, I had to kind of just open uh, it up. I think we may have walked to... Uh, Main stage, no? Main stage for who? A ver, a ver. Young Miko. Here. Young Miko. El viernes. Yeah, I got the list out right here. Yeah, we saw Young Miko, 445. Hey, Young Miko's an upcoming Latino artist, and I think the theme for this weekend is... How many Latino artists can you see, you know, uh, in one weekend? Oh, gotta show up, yeah. yeah, no, 100%, you know. Uh, young Miko had a tremendous set. I mean, I think, you know, she is new 
at the Coachella main stage. New um, album. Yeah, new album, new music. Um, I think she was feeling herself. I think maybe the crowd was, it was pretty early for her and for, for her crowd. Right? It was probably one of the hottest days, too. It was, I think, the hottest day at Coachella. And how was the crowd like when she played? She was the people hyped up? Oh, absolutely. I mean, we were hyped up. <laughs> <laughs> we, were we didn't need bananas. anybody else to be hyped up. We were the hype. <laughs> well, some of the songs were more like slow tempoed and. Like, I mean, obviously, like, yeah. the bangers, like, you know, people are... Yeah, I, I got the fucking late, bro. I ended up showing up, like, on her last song. Like, by the time I made mm. her to her stage, mm -hmm. it was her last song. And then I'm like, damn, that sucks. So instead of just going straight, we went to La Emperatriz, because I'm like, I already missed the whole set. So Same. I went to uh, Outdoor Theater to to watch this French band, La Emperatriz. They were pretty cool. Yeah. They had, yeah. They had a good vibe. Mm -hmm. It wasn't too hot at that time. Mm -hmm. So, um... The wind started coming in. Yeah. So it was really yeah. cool. It was, like... I think like 4.45 or 5 p.m. Yeah, yeah. That was the first set. Um, damn, I remember. Who else did you guys Okay, so right after that, what we did, because we camped there, right? We went back to oh, our campsite. Yeah. We were Because we went so early, we got a campsite that was about six to seven minute walk to the main entrance and, you know, security, checkpoint. Yeah, you in could and get to, Yeah, in and out real quick. You could go to your campsite, grab a drink, freshen up, eat some food, whatever you needed to do. Um, and head back in and so yeah. right after our little refresher uh we went to see peace up peace up ah man so you were asking top sets of friday i gotta put Bisa up there well let's continue okay. the story so Bisa right now is one of your top sets yeah, yeah. so yeah Bisa was insane so i think we ended up meeting up so mm -hmm. yeah um, sure after La Emperatriz, I, I went around to like the artist merch and check out the heineken like yeah. kind of walk around yeah, went yeah. to uh they like this the light sponsored tent. Oh yeah, they yeah, gave yeah. us free shots of coffee. So you know, we get two this free coffee, yeah. like just black cold brew, yeah. and then they, you just pick yeah. one of the delight um, cream cream or shit, and then you just yeah. take a little shot of coffee yeah. just to like energize, and it's free. And I I think a lot of people don't realize that like yes, you're going to go to Coachella to go to see the stages and see the artists, but yo, you got to check out the small booths, you know, like that delight the, this, or some of the, the absolute Carrera. or yeah, the absolute house, yeah. 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 I was doing yeah, oh, yeah, free electrolytes, yeah. free electrolytes. They're right giving there. a lot of free stuff out. I mean, we got free uh, bath method. soap, method soap, right? Method had a booth. Oh, sick. I didn't um, go into that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just, I think we got it at the you showers. The yeah. Yeah, so, um, yeah, check, of check out of all, yeah. that, all that stuff. There's a lot of just even speakeasies, too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> speakeasies by the Sahara tent. Yeah, it's go to behind the Sahara tent right, right before you get to the hill. It's like a jungle. And all it says is 21 up and over only. And I was like, mm. What's this? <laughs> walk in, boom, transported to a little jungle kind of like bar. Uh, and the people are in there. It's super low key. There's no one there. It's, you don't realize that it's a bar. Yeah. So just you get chilling. a drink real quick there. Yeah. yeah what did we see after Visa? So, no, well, let's talk about Visa. So, like, then, yeah, we went to camp after. I went to, to Lentes Carrera tent too. Try some Lentes Carrera. Uh -huh. Did you get any? Did you get any? I didn't buy them. They're like oh. 300 bucks. So. Oh. Or I don't know the prices, but. <laughs> 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 They're sick glasses, though. Sick glasses, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, and get yeah. some Lentes Carrera. Yeah, yeah. Um, I actually got these, eh? No, nah, just <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and then, uh, <laughs> then we went to, yeah, then went to camp. Reset. I got a pilas y a unos para ver a visa. And yeah, we followed you to the middle. Oh, I got there know. first, no? Yeah, you got there before yeah. us. Well, did I even go to camp? You didn't go to camp. You were from the Emperatriz? To all to the, like, Sahara. little tents and, and straight Brian to Sahara. And Brian was like, vámonos, yeah. vámonos, que el ángel ya está ahí esperando oh, sí, sí, sí. in the middle right. So middle cuando right. llegué, no había nadie. I think I sent the vlog. Like, llegué, and then, like, it was half empty, bro, because I was, like, 20 minutes early. Mm. So I showed up a little early. And then um, I'm like, oh, let me sit right here in the fucking center. Right under the ball, the sun that's in the center. Yeah, yeah. I was just standing there, and then I'm like, I watched. Um, How did you know to go there? Like, I've why? watched a few sets in the past. Okay. The last one that I watched in the center was Big Sean, 2022. Okay. And um, if you stand in the railing, remember the where they run all the cables from the Sahara to the production? Okay. There's like a little two, three inches of cable uh -huh. protection. Yeah. It does have like mas alto, so you could see higher. And then it's in the center, so you see the artist and you see the production. <laughs> That's the best view, bro. Because sometimes if you're really up close, you can't see how cool it looks. Because yeah, yeah. it's kind of, 
Yeah. You almost yeah. want the full spectrum. Of See, course, so. being up close is sick too. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, just being in there. But also know? acoustically, like we're in yeah. the center and to be able to experience. And then the you look right and left and it's just people just going <sighs> crazy. No, I said Dude, same. and then just like all the like electricity that he had. Yeah. I felt like the electricity was coming out of the screen. <laughs> I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa what's up, what's up? <laughs> Rob, robots and shit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I just feel like he really exceeded expectations. Like, I had expectations that it was going to be cracking, like, you know, it was going to be... Like a cool show. Yeah, yeah. a mm-hmm. show. But whenever he just started uh, spinning them tracks, like, everybody knew the choruses or the buildup, and then he would just drop yeah. something out of his world. Yeah. You know? And you go s- transport you straight into a rave or something. Yeah. yeah. Or, or, like, it'll start, like, a little hip-hop, but it was, mm-hmm. like, a sped up version of his songs, exactly. too. Exactly. Like, made just to yeah, make yeah. people have a good time. And know? that's festival music, yeah. right? He's playing music for festival goers. Yeah, not just his music. Exactly. And, like, um, then we were waiting for guests, and then, like, the first guest that he brought out, fucking... Who was it? Quien fue? Ah, yo ni me acuerdo. <laughs> no, pues fue la Shakira, la man. La loba. La loba. ¿Se oh, viene? ¿O cómo, se ¿Cómo decía? Se vino la loba. Se vino, se vino, la, vino la loba. loba. Yeah, she's que anunció que va a estar en tour. Yeah. I don't know after how many years, but. Yeah. Um, that was my prediction. So I predicted Shakira was going to come out. Check. Because um, she dropped a new album like two weeks ago. I was like, oh, she's going to. And she's launching a tour. The best place to promote it is like a viral Coachella moment. So yeah, yeah. So that was that was crazy. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Your sister went wild. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my sister just like wow. And I know she's been a huge Shakira fan since she was a kid. So yeah. Um, I remember she said cassettes the Shakira like the her, the Ojos Así album. Uh-huh, so. And cassette, and she used to play that shit. Wow. You have to like rewind the tape to listen <laughs> to it. Yeah, 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 you're bailando. Yo también pensé yo no me estaba cuidando. Yeah, no, no, no. Nada más. Estaría chido ir al para no escucharla de Waka Waka. Okay. World Cup. So her announcement was that she's going to start her tour here in Coachella. So make sure you go check her out in the fall. Oh, yeah. She's going to be at Acrosure Arena. I don't think they released information yet, but yeah. Yeah. That's oh, so it's not starting, like Coachella's not the first. Start of the No. So she's coming back on a later date. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm not sure. Well, I mean, there's no information, but I mean, she's playing movie. here sometime. Yeah. And then she's launching. So next yeah. week. Next week. <laughs> we gotta buy tickets, right? man. That's what it feels like. These concerts and festivals just keep dropping a new one every fucking week. Yeah, it's man. like a new festival every month. It's like, damn, bro. Yeah, keep going. Yeah. It's got to chill. No, absolutely. Do you guys go to other festivals? Um, yo, recently uh, went to Rolling Loud. <laughs> oh yeah, <it's> <laughs> he's like I didn't even remember I went to Rolling. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, I forgot I mean, about Rolling. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hey, Will Smith wiped their memories. <laughs> <laughs> we we'll get to that. We we'll get to that. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, oh yeah, Rolling Loud, but uh, Rolling Loud compared to Coachella, it's nah, not even. Nah, hundred percent, like not even in the same. Uncomparable. Stratosphere, bro. No, I mean, no, hundred percent. I mean, yeah, yeah it, it's cool, right? The kind of music that you're gonna hear at Rolling Loud, but. I think just organization and, and logistics of the place, like, it's just not doing it. They're just not putting out what Coachella can put out. And yeah. I mean, and that's in LA. I know. Right? In like, LA. You know, the with the LA park. infrastructure, right? But uh, anyways. Yeah, it's, it's tough for those festivals. But yeah, yeah, let's go back to Coachella. Go back to Coachella. So after Visa, we, we ended up going to watch Peso Pluma. Doble P. Compa W. Oh, man. That was crazy. That was my, the set I wanted to see the most. And I was just like, yeah. I got to see W. I mean, I, I've been looking forward to seeing Peso for a few months now. You know, I feel like, you know, I listen to a lot of like music in Spanish and, and Mexican music. Grew up listening to all that music. And, but at first I felt like, I don't know, like I heard La Bebe and I thought that song was sick. Yeah. No le había dado la chance. Exactly. No, no, hey, exactly. Fire you in a way. Exactly, you know. exactly. But I think he put on. A tremendous set, tremendous. It's gonna, I think it's gonna change, change Mexican music, Just American a whole music. New level, it's a bro. whole new level, a whole new world that he's now dipping into. Um, and like just having violins and the fucking tololoches on Stacey Arreño, hey. like the uh, requinto. Yeah. And then 10 minutes later, you hear a reggaeton track. Oh, yeah, and then hip hop, <laughs> he brought Santa Fe Clan. Oh, man. And then like, he could go in different genres and just take you in different type of vibes and then came back with the corridos at the end, fucking La People, PRC, AMG, La People Dos. Oh. 
No tocó llevar la sola, though. And Culona, he didn't play. And the one with Anita, right? He didn't play that one? Ah, Bella Cao, no. Bella Culona, and ella baila sola. No las tocó. That's crazy. Wow. Todos, he had such big... I mean, people say he doesn't have a catalog, but he does have a catalog now, you know? Like, mm -hmm. give him an hour, like, he's going to play. Oh, hell yeah. After, right? He's got so many songs. Yeah. He didn't play the Siempre Pendientes, Luis yeah. R. Conriquez, yeah, yeah, yeah. that song's fire. Well, so. you know, Bad Bunny kind of did something similar in his trajectory in the beginning of his career. It was a lot of features, a lot of singles, and then he finally dropped his album. And sometimes he's now dropped two or three albums consistently, and I feel like that strategy... I mean, a lot of people try to do that strategy, but the way they both kind of marketed themselves in the Latino world, you know, like from the Latino world into the mainstream music world, like. Whew. Yeah, peso pluma, peso pluma bro. Pluma. Hey, oh, man. when I was doing an, I was doing interviews on Thursday for um, for the Coachella to be on the live oh, stream. Oh, really? Yeah, so we ended up meeting up um, under the horse at the campsite. the, at the horse. thrift store. By the, by the thrift store. Yeah. And um, they sent a whole camera crew. It was a guy with the boom mic. Huh. It was a, a guy with the professional camera, like the rig, the, the ones that helps you out, and yeah, then yeah. Um, the director and everything. And then we were walking around interviewing people, bro. It was, uh, I was trying to find you guys, but you guys were over there, pinches escondidos ahí. Tenía miedo, tenía miedo. Era day zero, bro. Ya andábamos, pues, salido, you know. Ya andábamos en otro nivel. Sin dormir, desvelados, con hambre. Estábamos buscando algo, you know? <laughs> <laughs> no, sí, entonces um, encontré un vato que vino desde Oklahoma, 20, manejó 24 horas. No. He drove from Oklahoma 24 hours. Mi respeto, mi respeto. This white dude, and, and then he had a little mullet, and then I'm like, oh. A little mullet? <laughs> <laughs> Just a mullet. This oh, straight yeah. white dude from Oklahoma. Okay, and then okay, okay. I was like, hey, you know Peso Pluma? Because I was asking people about the Latino artists. That was the whole point yeah, of the yeah, live stream. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, oh, have you heard of Peso Pluma? He's like, of course I heard of Peso Pluma. That fool's got bangers. I was like, whoa. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, they call me Peso Pluma at work. <laughs> <laughs> he works in a restaurant with Mexicans. Oh. Hey. And they call him Peso Pluma because he has a mullet. Uh, hey, doble P, pásame el match. <laughs> pásame el pinche. Lava los platos, güey. Hey, lava los platos, pero en chinga. En chinga, bro. Ponte las pilas. Hey. But so, yeah, this, this fool... Um, Oklahoma from Oklahoma, yeah. fucking, fucking with Peso Pluma. Bro. I was like, Dude, that's, that's cool, crazy. Man. So, yeah, Peso Pluma, badass. Like, estaba viendo sus videos de los últimos festivales. Estuvo en South by Southwest en, hace como un mes en, en Texas. Um, And then he was at Tecate Pal Norte. Right. Tocó dos horas ahí porque Kendrick no pudo llegar o no sé qué pasó. Yeah, uh -huh. so, so le dijeron que tocara dos horas yeah. en two hours set. Pero comparado a lo que hizo en Coachella es otro nivel. Y ya sabía porque les dan más budget. Eso lo que pasa es... Okay. El headliner les dan como unos 5 a 8 millones el, okay. el budget. Ocho, casi nada. Casi nada. <risa> y, pero parte de ese budget es para que in, le inviertan a la stage production y tengan algún show perrón, yeah, pues. Yeah, claro. Porque todo cuesta, pues, tener It's tantas insane, cosas. Insane. Entonces... Um, Imagine the production crew that's needed. Sí, yeah. f uh, it's insane. The choreography, the camera yeah, work. Yeah, like, sure. it's a whole... It's like a movie in ¿Sí? real time. It's in crazy. Time. It's oh. insane. It's so cool how they are able to do that. So... Yeah, so they, the, the headliner gets the biggest budget, then the sub-headliners get the second biggest budget. And Peso Pluma on That's Friday was the second, yeah. the second billing. Mm -hmm. And they, by the billing, that's cuánto dinero agarran. And this is all at the Coachella main stage? Yeah, yeah. well, all the stages. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. So even the ones in the bottom, they get paid. Um, I knew an artist that was one of the smallest ones. Uh -huh. They got paid 5000 a weekend. Wow. To play Like the opening each weekend. set of a stage or Yeah, like type that. shit. You know, so yeah. it's cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, but then it just goes up more. And uh, yeah, so I'm like, oh, this was the second biggest budget. He's going to have to do something epic because everyone always does something badass. A lot of cool guests. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, the production was insane. Just like they were doing scenes and then they had a Morgan Freeman narration to start the show. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, wait, wait. What am I doing? Dude? And donde estamos? Oh, yeah. Tal Morgan aquí, is he gonna pop out talking like in the Imagine corner? Imagine just in the corner, just doing a speech. In like a box at a desk, chilling. You That'd know? be hard. Uh, no, I mean, the, that performance, mind blowing. I mean, I think, I hope he feels great because he put on a hell of a show and I think everyone's gonna look forward to seeing him in weekend, weekend two. Weekend two is and gonna who be is he gonna movie. bring out? And, so yeah, uh, he brought out Becky G. How can, he, how can he top himself? He brought Becky G, but he's like, 
He paused because he was going to say Carol G. <laughs> <laughs> he was going to say, Becky G. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So and then, he brought out Becky G. He brought out Arcángel. Arcángel. Right? Yeah. So, yeah. so for the new song. So him and Arcángel. That one was a little weird because nobody knew the song because it, it came anymore. out like two days ago. Yeah, you know? three, four days ago. Yeah, so oh. the weekend two is going to know the song a little better. Yeah, yeah. Va a pegar más, you know? Sí, sí. But the song está chida. La escuchamos yeah. ahorita en el carro. Hey, 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 en el carro. <laughs> ¿Qué, decía, ¿Qué decía el bar desde Jalisco? No. Sí. Soy artista, pero the bar right vivo la vida como... Como capo ranchero. Como capo ranchero. Como capo ranchero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sí, algo así. Sí. Yeah, that's, that was pretty cool. Yeah, so, yeah. I brought a Junior H. Junior H, oh, bro. Junior that was H, crazy. Con el azul. Oh, Ay, man. man. Se bro. reventó. He was supposed to be at Rolling Loud, too. <sighs> that's why I went to Rolling Loud. Yeah. I went to Rolling Loud with the idea. I was like, whoa, crazy. Like, hip-hop fest is going to throw... Uh, Junior H, uh, Fuerza Regida, and Nata, bro. And Nata, bro. That would have been so epic. Dude, I was like, yo, like, I don't have to go to Mexico to see Nata. Like, it's coming to me in LA, you know, and LA is a big place where any yeah. artist wants to perform at some point in their yeah. life, at any stage, really. Um, and to not see them. Yeah, the only reason I went to run in it was for that reason, too. It's <laughs> crazy. But anyway, anyway we don't talk yeah. about them anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're going to see Nathan on Friday, watch. <laughs> oh, I know. I hope so. So, yeah, yeah. so we had, um, so, yeah, they brought Junior H, La Azul, and then he was kind of like, I hated that like, he was trying to let the crowd sing. I'm like, I want you to sing, bro. You got, like, yeah. two verses here. Like, you yeah, yeah, sing yeah. your song. We want to hear you. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> then who else you bring out? That's three so far. Did you bring out there? I think that was it? No. I don't know. Somebody check us in the comments. It was just them three. Yeah. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Top of my head. Yeah. I think those were three guys, but then he had like change of scenes, change of outfits and shit. Mm -hmm. And then uh, he did the thing. He ran by the stage. I got a little bit with the, with Ooh, the Osmo. Clean as and then um, la, he ended with uh, Lady Gaga, which was pretty sick, with the tribute okay. to all the, the past... And how did it start? Mexico. The same way his set started, right? With the violins. See, si. With the violins, yo. Oh, man. Como en the MTV Awards, he did Como the MTV Awards. So with the violin so, yeah. and the cello, no? Yeah, yeah. Lady Gaga. Yeah, no, you see. That, that Lady Gaga song, and then everyone just started singing. It was more like, uh, como se dice cuando empiezan a cantar sin la música. Si, sí, like a cappella. A cappella. So oh. He's, 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 oh, vamos a cantar un corrido y va así. Don't pity. Oh, no, it's a. Uh, yeah. Don't pity your lady. Gaga lentes en la cara. Oh, he was just talk, like singing it. <laughs> pero lo, pero lo, lo más yo también, aparte de que la canción está bien chida, es um, el tribute. The tribute. So sacó todos los de regional mexicano, todos los iconos. Sí. De, de la música de, mexicana. De la, de la regional que cantan corridos, pues. Sí, sí, Porque sí. Porque era todo el show, fue como que narco corridos y que la negatividad y los newspapers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pero. Hey, es, es música, you know? es como los otros géneros que cantan de otras cosas malandras, de los malandros. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Es parte no, de I mean, you know, la música en la que está Peso Pluma y Nathaniel, and, you know, you go back decades, you know. I mean, he's, his visuals were saying, I'm bringing all my ancestors with me and all the people in my movement, and they're coming and they're here on this stage with me. Yeah, these guys were. Big, like, big dude, track. some of the biggest names, but uh, yeah. mainstream, you could never get them at a festival like Coachella. But I never thought I would see Corridos a Coachella, Narco Corridos. Narco Corridos, porque hay Coachella corridos, corridos promoting them, bro. Corridos es una ballad, right? Corridos Un Corridos, sí, right? pues también los. Pero, but, pero, yeah, el, pero el no, tipo pero. De narco corrido. Pero Coachella posted on Instagram, bro. What? La canción del Chapo, like. Coachella <laughs> posted it on Instagram. Of, this was, they could have posted be, be, Bellequeo. Any they other part of a song. Any, you know, Bellequeo, you know, like whatever. Yeah, yeah. And they posted that Bellequeo, part about Bellequeo. Chapo, bro, on, on, on the... How does it go? How does it go? How does that part go? Yeah, I, I don't know the whole verse. That shit was pretty fast. Son de la gente del Chapo Guzmán. And he screamed and it. Then, he screamed it. Goes nah. Bro, promocionando esa madre. Coachella Fest. Like, Coachella. nunca en mi vida pensaría esa madre. Nah, pa' nada, pa' nada. Pero este vato es una estrella. Like, that, that was sí. crazy. Una so, super estrella. So, ahorita va a sacar su segundo okay. álbum. Después okay. de Coachella Fest. Second album. And he's about to go to another level. Y luego la canción con DJ Snake, que a lo mejor va a estar en ese álbum. 
It might be one of the I first. I already things. forgot about the canción. And then this new one with Arcángel too. That's new one with Arcángel. And then yeah. that one with ASAP Rocky. Ah, oh, shit. shit. <laughs> with Wiz Khalifa. Hey, everybody, bro. Everybody. everybody has a name for his new album. It's uh, it Genesis. It was, yeah, Exodus. So it's like the Bible shit. Oh, Exodus. Exodus. Oh, Exodus. Let's see. Exodus means like an Exodus. So, pa salir. Salgan todos conmigo. He's telling everybody to come Todos los generos, bro. Fucking. Yeah, Va a tener todo. So when he had Santa Fe Clan up there, like... Oh, Santa Fe Clan. Santa Fe Clan was the fourth one. Oh, bro. Santa Simon, Fe Clan. Esa, so el compa Santa Fe Clan. Esa canción, la de... Esa es de peso, es de Santa, no es de Santa. Es que peso. es de Santa, es más que la oh, canción okay. de Santa. Porque como ahorita las singles que tienes, la People 2. Ajá. La, la People 2. La esta nueva de con Arcángel. Okay. And then, uh, el, la de con el DJ peso Smith. completo se llama la canción. Peso completo. Peso completo. Peso completo. Peso completo. That's yeah. the sixth thing. <laughs> y la que te, va a salir con DJ Snake. Huh? Remember that one? That was the one where... Oh, con Charlie. Like, the whole marching people when everyone was just marching? Yeah. Oh. oh that bitch was the, one with the, the one that was talking about revolution and they were all like... Yeah. Mm -hmm. A lo mejor eso, o sea, también en, la, en el screen decía Revolution también. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yo, I mean, I'm, I'm ready to go back and just review the entire set because I feel like... Yeah, peso like, is crazy. Oh, but. man, I said the critiques of, like, what the new... Like, it started off with, like, a news anchor, like, you know, like, ahí vienen los narcos, mucho de drogas. Y gracias a los narcos, ustedes están aquí. Sí. Lo están pasando, eso era bien chido. Yeah, no, la verdad, just, man. So, no, pero it was, it was just a badass performance. So, I one of my it, favorites, man. and like, man, I feel so cool watching yeah, this man. shit. Like, it's just like, the what energy. Are your, what are your favorites of, from all the Coachellas you've been to? This one, yeah, it was so smooth. Ah. And because it was like, Every set we watched was just out of this world. Like, that production is getting crazy, bro. It's insane. It's just like, boom, badass set. And then we had the campgrounds to rest up. And then, boom, badass set. And yeah. then, oh, another set. And then, like, yeah. crazy Shakira, bro, coming out. And then, <laughs> we're barely on day one, we're you know. It's crazy one, so peso. It's already been 40 so minutes. After, <laughs> <laughs> after yeah. Peso Pluma, um, I think we went to see either Get Something to Eat and then go see Justice. That's what we did for, oh, okay, for, yeah. for the next part. Yeah. How would you guys get see after uh, Peso? Yeah, today we saw Son Ron Pepeto. Yeah, so yeah, mm -hmm. I walked, we walked over to check out Justice, I think, oh, yeah, for yeah, a little yeah. bit. Yeah. And I was like, mm. I mean, the first song was. Yeah, the first song was cool. Yeah, it's one of the biggest songs, right? But Legendary Dance. DJ, yeah. Is it Dance? I think it might have been Dance. Dance. That's yeah. what they started. Yeah. 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 But I was like, hey, let's go check out Son, check out Son Ron Pepeto. Oh, man. Oh, at the Sonora Tan. At the Sonora Tan, bro. It was, at, there was not a lot of people there. I think a lot of people just didn't know who they were. Yeah. And, uh, oh, man. Me and my brother started this little, well, we didn't start it. Someone started it and people were just going, in una rueda. It's kind of like uh, a type of like rock en español, like mosh Sí, sí, sí. Like todos. Y sí, a veces sí se agarran a chingadazos. But, <laughs> but it looks like the group that was there, like, it was chill. Sí, pues, yeah. like, no, no es algo así we're más hardcore. Vibing. Yeah, we're just there vibing, dancing. Like, like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, cumbias and, and rock in español también. Uh, taba, taba chingón. I liked it. And we were only there for like maybe like 25 minutes, 30 minutes. Yeah. Y luego nos fuimos a ver uh, to close at the Sahara, right? Or Antia. Uh, it was Antia. Oh. You guys went to see Antia. We went to see Antia. And that was hyped up by Chris Lake, no? Well, it was hyped up by Chris Lake and you can definitely check out all those tweets, but I don't know, in my opinion, maybe I just... So how was it? I, I mean, personally... We were also kind of looking for like our group. So like mm. if you weren't, if we were fully immersed, you know. Yeah, yeah. It could have been a better experience. But yeah. We were just busy, like looking and moving around. Yeah, yeah. So we were trying to find our group. We too much. And uh, we couldn't find our group because they were near the back sound stage. Yeah. Uh, the production area, and so uh, we kind of watched it from the front. And I don't know. I mean, I think the set was cool, and but maybe just for me in that moment, like I was just. I was on the visa high. I was on the peso See, high. See, you were just like, like already. I was just I already like, had yeah. my day. Yeah, yeah, I was like yeah. DJs, yeah, whatever. Yeah. I was like these DJs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, 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 felt, it felt very niche. Like it's not what Chris Lake always be playing, you know. Yeah. Um, and so, but we from the same side. Yeah, Steve Angelo. How was the stage set? Like the lights, or how was it set up? Ah, uh, it was dark. It was dark, dark and dark red. red. Yeah, it was very red, very dark. Okay. Honestly, they didn't really put much on the little oh, screens that they had. Oh, this to be intimate, like, yeah. have a good oh, experience. Some guy, like came a out, some guy came out and he was emceeing, like, the first few tracks, mm -hmm. huh? Like, like light-skinned looking dude. Okay. Um, I mean, it was cool. It had a cool intro, but I was kind of like, 
Like, know? what is this? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so. Nos fuimos a ver a, a Steve Angelo. Oh, no, <laughs> you're hungry. <laughs> <laughs> sumo dogs he's like yeah I was like, he, those there's too. some hot dogs right there i was like are they still warm because i like my food warm you know? yeah <laughs> yeah we took a glizzy all the way to the sahara hill and so we sat at the hill i was tired from the whole day i mean from day zero sleeping like one hour or two barely sleeping <laughs> yeah day zero to day one doing all the day one activities and then I was like, bro, let's just chill at the hill. Steve Ann just started at 12, too. That and was on like the late, late. And yeah. it was windy as heck. And, yeah. and so because there wasn't a lot of people, you would feel the draft of the wind more. Yeah. And he had he even made a point about it. He's like, hey, like, I know it's like windy as whatever, you know, but let's have some fucking fun. Yeah, no, know? it was, uh, we didn't talk about how empty it was on Friday. It was so empty, bro. Yeah. Like, there it was just, no yeah. lines for anything. Yeah. No lines for, I've never seen that in all my years going to Coachella. Really? No lines for merch, no lines for yeah. anything. Yeah. All the clothes is like fast, the ID check was fast. But I think it's also because they added a new stage. I know it was less people than normal, but mm -hmm. the new stage being so far away, it just spread the people so much that there's no more congestion, you know? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You used to get that bottleneck by the Mojave and the right. Sahara. Mm -hmm. It was just too much people. And then the main stage, because it was close to the Sahara, people would make the trip. Now it's like, oh, I gotta choose. And then the quasar in the middle just distracting people. <laughs> just, yeah, exactly. And the do lab around that distracting yeah, people. Yeah, you so see the mushrooms and you're like, let me get some. <laughs> <laughs> you see them in the So there's just so much yeah. to do that. All the headliners didn't have that crazy crowd that we're used to. So I was like, yeah. oh, shit. They give uh, some sick Friday, if you don't want to see the headliner, Steve Angelo. Yeah. Saturday, you don't want to see the headliner, Dom Dalla. Right. And then Sunday is John Summit. So it's like, oh, I want to see the headliner or I want to go party at the Sahara. You yeah, know? exactly. Or at the Yuma. Or at the Yuma all day. <laughs> or those Mojave DJ said that was going on yesterday. Yeah, during for Doja real. Yeah. yeah, there was um, a lot less people. It felt less packed. Yeah. So I thought it was yeah. cool. And Steve Angelo with that unreleased track at the very end of his set. Yeah. Dude, I, I saw a little bit of Lana Del Rey right before Steve Angelo. Oh, okay. And it was a little boring. I don't know her music, so I don't mm. want to say it's boring because I'm pretty sure if you're a fan, that's super cool. Yeah, yeah, man. yeah. No, of course. I, I watched like 20 minutes and it was like, ah, I'm tired too. I was dead. I was like, I'm, I'm done. So. You need something to pick you up. Yeah, like, I don't want to <laughs> I don't want my night on listening to, you know, some crying music. You know? Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm in a good and like note. to sit down and like, or get on the ground and, and lay down. Yeah, it's just like, that's kind of, I feel like it's not. Turn down for what? Turn up for what? Yeah, yeah. like I'm gonna talk about that on Sunday too, but we'll get about okay, that. Okay, let's get to that. And then, uh, yeah, so and then going to, um, I walked Alex back to like the entrance of the festival, and then I made my way to Sahara. Uh -huh. And then I was calling uh, other people that were part of our group, uh -huh. and they all tapped out already by twelve. <laughs> so then I was like, damn, bro, like I'm gonna go by myself, I guess. Hey. And then these fools were over there. Freak uh -huh. You guys were over there sitting down. I didn't even know. Man, we watched the first half of the set from the hill. Eat her glizzy. <laughs> <laughs> checking our, our, our videos and, you know, just checking your phone because at that moment you can check your phone. And I, I didn't check my phone all weekend, bro. I haven't even I used know. I got so many texts, bro. I just don't even. I haven't even responded yeah, yet. I'm, I'm going to have to apologize in all my texts. <laughs> <laughs> my but, bad. Uh, yeah. We're in the zone. Yeah. And so we, at halfway through Steve Angelo said, we're like, I was like, no, I'll just watch the end of the set. Like, dude, like it's so empty in the front. Like, let's just go to the front. <laughs> we're walking. We're, we're like, we're, we're like. 10, 15 minutes before we ended, and I just kind of looked, and I just see you vibing. Like, <laughs> 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 that was a cool moment, bro. I was like, yeah, yeah, I was yeah. actually going to leave because I'm like, oh, this is sick, but I'm like, fuck it. I mean, I'm going to try to go on the other side. Yeah. And then I see you guys coming in. I'm like, fuck yeah, let's go. Just send their, and then yeah, they play the new yeah, unreleased yeah, track. Yeah, unreleased track. It was sick. It was dope. And then, uh, yeah, just a fun DJ set, mm -hmm. and then that's it. And then um, the festival activities, day one. Yeah. Um, so at the end of the day, you have v Visa and well, fucking Pesca well, that was the, Yeah, that was, yeah. But that was the end for some of us, or some people. <laughs> <laughs> you know, at the campsite, they have a stage called the Trillium, and they have silent disco from 2 in the morning to 4 in the morning. Yeah. So I saw this really dope DJ. His name's Genji. Look up Genji. Um, Techno Tupac and Bones. Bones was dope. Bones actually played at the Sahara on uh, Sunday. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, so um, he was sick. But uh, yeah, so most of our What night, time you go to sleep on Friday? A Friday night after the festival. Probably went to bed like around like 3.30, 3.45-ish. Give yeah, give or take. We would get up at 7.30 because that sun was just... 
wake up fool wake up hecho te otra chela y no hey y rápido. Okay, so you know? And then on Saturday, uh, okay, Saturday, what time do you guys go in? Do you remember who you watch on Saturday? Who was on Saturday? I got my list right here. <laughs> I started my day at Santa Fe Clan. Santa Fe Clan. Oh, man. Hey, but did we say our top three sets for Friday? I mean, we kind of made it seem like we had our top yeah. three. You yeah, know? I go, mine is uh, Visa, Peso, and uh, Son Rompera. No. Let me see. I'll give it. Yeah, I'll give Visa and Peso their flowers. Nice. Um. Yeah, either. Mm -hmm. I might have to go Young Miko. Young Just Miko's the third one. Classy 101. And... <sighs> yeah, when she closed with Classy 101, I thought Percho was gonna come out. Se iba a romper la cosa. For me, it was uh, Peso Pluma number one, uh -huh. and then Visa with Shakira two. Yeah. And um, Steve Angelo, to be honest, because throughout the day, it was yeah. just kind of nothing that stood out crazy. Like, La Emperatriz was cool, but it's just a chill little yeah, yeah, to yeah. get your day going, you know? Yeah, yeah. And I didn't get to see um, other, like, crazy sets. I'm pretty yeah. sure there was, like, some badass stuff, you know? Yeah, yeah. So let's move on to Saturday. Saturday. Um, so I started my day on Saturday with the last song of Santa Fe Clan. <laughs> the last <was> song? <laughs> hey, but that song... Mm. Yeah, Banger, bro. so it was the last song because I, I should have laid too. God damn it! So how was uh, the beginning of Santa? How was this? Ah uh, man, Santa Fe Clan. I think for me personally, he's gonna be in my top five from the entire weekend. Um, I mean, it was just. I mean, who goes up on the main stage and plays the accordion and just starts rapping, you know, and playing rapping in Spanish, then play some cumbias here and there, and then you know, like you know, these are dudes who are. You know, super tatted up to the max. He brings out this young MC, younger than, you know, most of us. And I mean, they're both up there fully tatted up, you know, their whole body art, you know? And uh, it was dope, man. I mean, I've been wanting to see like Mexican MC rappers, you know? Um, that's why I wanted to see Not That Rolling Loud. Yeah. Um, but Santa Fe Clan, at uh, Coachella, no me lo esperaba. When I when I purchased them and then we found out the lineup, yeah, I saw Santa Fe Clan on there and I was like, oh cool, like you know, I'll go check them out. Like you know, they're Mexicano, you know, soy Mexicano, pues hay que apoyar al compa, you know. Sí, man. No, huevo, dude, tremendo set, man. I mean, y que viva México, cabrón. You know, it's just really yeah, en la pasión que trae ese en la sangre, you know, and. Um, it just felt emotional. It felt like he was trying to play with people that were like his family. I mean, sure, there were some people nearby that were camping for like, you know, the, the next, next act. Yeah. And that's always a struggle, I think, at Coachella now after going from your second year. It's like, where you position yourself? Is it people around you that are going to see the next set? Or is it people that are here just to see that here artist right now? Right now? Mm -hmm. And they're going to be present. They might know all the lyrics to the song, or they might at least vibe with you, you yeah. know, and because and, that's what that's what you love about festivals is that like, you know, you're vibing to a song and then you turn to the right and then you're vibing with that person and then, you know, it's you like a, in unison, in unison and everyone's, everyone's moving, everyone's you know? singing and ah, yes, it's, it's the best, man. bro, because you, you never get to be around people that, like that much people, it's so nah, cool. Yeah, yeah. It's from all over the world too, meeting people exactly, from all over the world yeah. is insane. Yeah. It's just like the Some funny. Australians. <laughs> Your energy, yeah. Yeah. Like, experience. yeah, and you're walking to the festival, and like you know, you hear you walk by the quasar, and someone's staring at you, and they're just going, <laughs> 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 Okay, bro, I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna hit you with it. You know, you point somebody out, right? You give them a little point, and they're just like, Yeah, 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 yeah me too, me too. It, you know, <laughs> yeah, you so you just everyone's hyping you up, everyone's hyping each other, and I mean, that's how you should go to, to festivals and, and music, you know, because it's to. It's to release, it's to have fun and yeah. enjoy, you know, moments. Let go and discover yeah. and connect and just yeah. be part of tribes for a moment, you know? Yeah. For an hour, you're connected with a tribe that likes the same monkey yeah. singing on stage. And you're always meeting somebody new around you. Yeah. You know? um, it's so awesome. It's yeah, best. yeah. So, yeah, so After we Santa Fe? Um, Santa Fe Clan, I went to see Vampire Weekend. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's like the surprise added on yeah, to. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, so we left Santa Fe to go see. So went to see Vampire Weekend. Uh, I think we went to get, I, I got a sumo dog right, <laughs> right before Vampire Weekend getting a glizzy. <laughs> sumo dog. 
And I was like, ¿Están grandes? It. ¿Están grandes o no? A ver. Uh, apenas. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> que nos traigan uno. <laughs> Uh, Productor, traenos una... Producción. Entonces fueron a Vampire Weekend. Vampire Weekend. Yo, fui, yo me quedé a ver a Sublime. Oh, I know. Bueno, yeah. well, they came out later, but I, I only went for Vampire just for A-Funk. Mm -hmm. A-Funk, and that's it. I got it. that song, and I got that experience with everybody, and it was, <laughs> it was lit. You're just jumping around. Having a party and wow. Then from there, from uh, where I went from Vampire, we went to the last dinner party. I think it was at the Mojave or the Gobi, mm -hmm. one of those. It was a, it's like this upcoming rock band. They're super cool. They're, it's an all-female rock band. Mm -hmm. all -female? But, but the lead singer is badass. Like she's a superstar, bro. Really? She's like stage presence, like crazy. She does like yeah. It's cool, cool rock music. Um, I think they'll be back in the future, like a bigger mm -hmm. stage and shit. So that's what the, they do is like you start at the Sonora, then maybe it's the Gobi or the Outdoor or the Mojave. Right. And then, then the next time you come is the Outdoor stage. And then the next right. time maybe Sahara, maybe, you know, like they give them this tears. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. They yeah, develop. They way up. Yeah, they develop artists, you know. Yeah. Like Eddie Zuko for sure. Next time he comes, he'll be at one, either Gobi or Mojave. Really? And then the next time he comes outdoor main stage and shit. And like, to, like his career's gonna get better. You know, that's really cool that like they come back like, not consistent, but like within a few years, right? Yeah. And that's kind of like, cause sometimes you hear about concerts and like festivals and like, oh, no way, but you got this person, and they, they've never been there or they haven't played in five, seven years. I'm gonna see you. Know? See. Sí. You know, these are acts that like, hace dos años, you know? Like, obviously, it's because obviously if they're still dropping music. Dropping music yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and they're building they're their building brand. Their yeah. yeah. And they were booked for a reason. You know, they, they yeah. see potential in them or they have good label or whatever. So it's, 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 it's pretty cool. Yeah. All right. So what are you guys going to see uh, like around six? You want to see around Sublime, six. right? Sublime, yeah. I went to see Sublime and uh, I, I never really listened to music, to Sublime's music. But, dude, I, I love music. I love bands. Like, I like me a, a nice, dope band. Um, that's one of the things that Santa Fe Clan had. He had a really dope banda with him. Yeah. Um, but, dude, Sublime was dope. I mean, to see all the old cats of the So, I, I group. actually, I watched uh, Sublime from, from way back. I wasn't up close or nothing. I was kind of like um, on the right side of the main stage. But we were watching, we were waiting for Santeria, and it was the last song. So, yeah. we, we literally watched like half, yeah, yeah, yeah. the second half of his set. Um, and then after Sublime, you know, that cool moment. I don't practice Santeria. Like everyone just singing. Yeah. That shit was cool. Well, the cool thing about this performance was that the son of the lead singer, right? Was the one was singing, the one right? That was singing. That's it. And I think Loki, like, he struggled at first. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, yeah. maybe the nervousness. Well, right? they, had a, they ended Sublime with Rome. The, they had a lead singer called Rome. Mm -hmm. And he's, I think, doing solo now. Oh, okay. But they, they played with him for like 15 years after oh, the other wow. guy passed away. Oh, I didn't know that. So then yeah. they, they just ended that. It hey. used to be called Sublime with Rome. And that's now it's cool. just sublime, but with the sun. Oh, okay. okay so that's okay. cool. I think. Yeah, but don't get me wrong. Like he started off, maybe his he could he control his voice correctly with the mic, but he can play, you know, the guitar. But towards the end of the set, chingón. Ya se sentía. La energía. Like, a little nervous. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ya se le quitó the first nervousness. Y chingón. That's super he, sick. He closed it. So that was really dope. Yeah. It's on the Long Beach. The Long Beach, yeah, nice. Uh, for me, um, right after Sublime, I went to the campsite to recover, and then make the plan, get a little breather, get a little breather, <laughs> get a little breather. Get a little breather freaking yeah. sit down, you eat, know, eat, eat a snack, eat a snack, take yeah. off your shoes, stretch. Oh, every time I go back to the campsite, the I take off my shoes. I think that's the that's what's worth it about having a campsite. Yeah. And then, um, and then I I, I was gonna watch somebody like at seven, and then I remember I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna save my energy for. It was gonna. It was gonna be a tough choice that we made. You were gonna go see Grimes at seven or what? No, we were gonna go see Blur. <laughs> he said no. <laughs> Not Grimes. We're gonna see Blur at the main stage. Oh, you were. Gonna, we were gonna see T Pain. That was on Saturday. That's that was on what Saturday. it was. Yeah, yeah. So we were gonna see T Pain. So we got that footage. And because, I'm not telling you. And, and I didn't see T Pain because um, we were waiting for Santeria. Mm. We were waiting for Santeria. We were waiting for Santeria, and then uh, we met a homie had just came from the Heineken, and he's like, "Bro, the line." is to the food court, like from the Heineken <laughs> to the food court, like a mile long. Yeah, and it's yeah. already packed inside and I was like, yeah. I'm not even gonna go over there, but I'm not gonna walk there yeah, and no, just, yeah, exactly. so I'm like, fuck, we don't have anybody to watch. Let's go recover at the campsite. Mm -hmm. And then you guys went to see T-Pain, right? 
I mean, I tried to, but I, I faced the same thing. It was packed. And I was like, yo, I'm gonna record this line, bro, because this is crazy. You know, you hear First about of the- all, that's one of the dumbest bookings, bro. <sighs> I, you could have chose any other stage. Put him on the quasar, bro. Just <laughs> oh, bro, bro. Bro. Coachella, what are you doing? Yeah, Coachella, what are you doing? I mean, who made that logistical decision? Like, I get it, it's a DJ set, but you had T-Pain at the quasar, yeah, bro. He like, would destroy He was that. only gonna play maybe like 30, 30 40 minutes, minutes. Just yeah, something. Like, but Between the sets? Squeeze them 30 minutes at the Sahara. He'll have that shit packed, bro. Yeah, 100%. And like, imagine, like... And pumped up for whoever's... I'm like, oh, fuck uh, it. Uh, baby baby give me another girl, song. Yeah. what's your name? Let me talk to you. Yeah, T-Pain. Yeah, playing at, a, my lyric, playing at a, such a tiny stage is so dumb. Like, yeah, yeah. such a big name. But next week is not... But the Heineken House is cool, though. Heineken like, House You have to check cool. it out. It's really It's 21 nice. and up, and it's free. Yeah. You, you just go in there. It's like another stage, but mm-hmm. you got to have a bracelet. Yeah. Um, also, uh, this week it won't be T Pain. It's gonna be uh, Fat Joe on Saturday. Oh, but he'll probably bring some guests or something. Yeah. But you know, gotta For catch sure. that. So, um, you guys went back to the camp after that, right? Because we were all there. Yeah. yeah. And that's when we were like, oh, let's go watch Blur because it's like an iconic uh-huh. band. So but then so. I was like, I want to hear some ignorant shit. <laughs> I was like, I was like, nah. We we're like, nah. Because we, we had a quasar. We had a we had a group. We're like, who are we gonna go? Where are we gonna yeah, go? Yeah, yeah. And I was like, I wanna go see Ice Spice, bro. I want, yeah. like, I wanna, I wanna hear some shit. Like, a lot of people like, in the crew oh. wanted to see Ice Spice. Ice Spice just like sick shit. So, yeah, yeah, so yeah. Um, we had a group. I forgot who went with us. I don't even remember who was with us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really but we showed up, and I remember that was one of my favorite sets on Saturday. I was like, ah, damn it! It was just straight up bass. She actually rapped all her songs. She, she did. did. Yeah. It was, I was That's really impressed. Yeah, that is impressive. Rappers these days, they just do ad libs. People weren't yeah. expecting that. From and she her. went hard, bro. 30 minutes, just straight up fire. Yep. And I was like, wow. Every that, song. That was boom, like, boom, boom, boom. It was super fun. Palo, 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 palo. <laughs> who do you guys see uh, uh, at the time? Uh, uh, we tried to go to the Quasar. We were at Michael Beebe for like maybe yeah. 30, 40 minutes. No, maybe. I think Michael Beebe was uh, Sunday. Uh-huh. Oh, no? Sunday. Oh, okay, 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 okay. We were there for like 30, 40 minutes, and then like, yeah. as Ice Spice was starting, we headed over there. Oh, it was oh. Ice Spice and Jungle, the two I had to choose from, because oh, I want to see Jungle. Okay. I had uh, the homie Armando who mm-hmm. was going to go see him. I ran into him. He was like, oh, yeah. we're going to see Jungle. And I know Jungle is one of the funnest shows, bro. So this week I'm watching Jungle no matter what. <laughs> but um, uh, we, went, we went to see uh, Ice Spice. And then after that, we went to see No Doubt at the Macy's. Yeah, yeah. So you went to No Doubt to see Yeah, because Alex wanted to see her. She grew up on that music. And it's fun. I, I yeah, like, yeah, you know. yeah. No, of course. We went from the Quasar. <laughs> we were there and we were like, I was like, Let's go see some ignorant shit. <laughs> like, you guys already say it was already on my mind. Like, dude, we have to. We have to go see Ice Spice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we caught the second half of her set. Uh, and it was, yeah. it was lit, man. It was cracking. Yeah, it was pretty lit. So Ice Spice, yeah. throw it back. Yeah, you know, that's yeah, just yeah. Oh, I was throwing it back. <laughs> <laughs> you guys stay for Ice or not, huh? Okay, so yeah. So that's what we ended up. That was the plan. It's like, go somewhere Watch else. Ice Spice. Yeah. yeah. So Catch Ice Spice. Us, between Ice or not and Brutal. Uh, the least was 3,000. Oh, I know. Man. Probably would have been a sick ass set too, but. In, in, I had to see footage as I was. Yeah, I, I, I mean, either. Yeah, out. I haven't seen it either. That's just. Um, Indoors. Okay, so. <laughs> Indoors. <laughs> oh, dude, that'd be crazy. ISO not. Yo, that's that's this generation's DJ. That shit was crazy. Or the those. The, the, the so the duo, right? The ISO not X. ISO and not two. ISO and not two, okay. Dude, that's set. Just like this. Oh man, they have this. I have a couple songs that are, I, I personally, before last week, barely know about them. But dang, top sets on Saturday. I mean, that crowd was lit. Yeah. And people there were so moshing. moshing there. Yeah, there was multiple mosh pits going on at the That's same time. That's awesome. It was bro. crazy. I gotta be there for yeah. that one. I, 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 I was not in one mosh pit this at weekend. At the Sahara, bro. I was not in one mosh pit this weekend. I can't bro. believe that. I can't believe it, bro. <laughs> you were talking about, I can't wait till I go mosh at this. Bro, I went thing. to Lil Yachty. I'm like, I'm about to get. <laughs> that, we'll get to that on Sunday, man. <laughs> yeah. God damn it, I missed yeah. God damn it. All right. It was so, sick. So then uh after And then right after Isonaut uh, Isonaut Cascade made a guest appearance at, at the, the Do Lab. Lab. You guys went to see it? So I went to go watch that. How was that a night bit. the Do Lab with all badass? Yeah. Oh dude. Another level. It's another level. Oh, oh yeah, you, so we saw it by day on Sunday, but uh, by by night. By night is crazy. I mean, the lighting that they have because of the, the little picture f- of the mushrooms. Yeah. 
brutal. Brutalismo. <laughs> 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 they were like waves. Man. I know. Yeah, so the, the mushrooms are yeah. moving like this the entire time. And then time. the music with the screens. And, oh, man, that's so cool. Yeah, no. And Cascade brought out Alice in Wonderland. And Wonderland. Yeah. Oh, they were going back to back. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Wait, and then that was the same night that Billy Eilish played with Friends? I think so. I think so. Yeah, yeah, right after, right after that. that. Damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The people at the do lab were crazy. Oh, she was she early. Was she was early and then Cascade was yeah. later. Damn, people at the do lab had a good time. Yeah, mm-hmm. people at the do lab. I think a lot of people were there. Every time I walked by, it was, it was like legit packed. Super packed, yeah. 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 Maybe that's why it was impact for the headliners because, um, well, let's, before the headliners, I went to see, so what, you guys went to see Eisenach? I went to see Gesaffelstein. Oh. Gesaffelstein was straight up. I watched the whole set. Is it robotic? Yeah, bro. Mm. Like, and it was really dark, so all the lights were just like, pff, like rays of like white, like boom, boom. And then like he had like floating lights above him, mm. and his eyes were glowing like yellow. What? So he had a, a yellow. A, he had a, a whole body suit of so like. He looked like the devil. No, he looked like a crystal man, fucking pff, like metallic, like metallic, with like glowing fucking yellow yeah. eyes and shit. Yeah. And he was just playing like I don't even know what he was playing. Huh. And then just the lights were hitting, like, dude, it was crazy. Like, dark EDM vibes, like, futuristic, like, metallic vibes. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it's sick, man. That was, yeah. a, that was one of the... That was we gotta go sick. rewatch that set. And we went all the way to the front. We went all the way right to the outdoor. Mm-hmm. We got to the front. Like, we were right there in the fucking front, bro. Wow. The base was freaking fire. So, um, then Gasafo's thing. No. no. We're waiting just in case, but he didn't bring nobody up. Because he, he has songs. He didn't need to. That's why. He didn't need to. <laughs> so on Reddit, they were saying, like, this was just, he likes his sets all structured and oh, just okay. straight up because he's like his baddest producer. But he also produced songs for The Weeknd, Kanye, right, right, and right. a bunch of other. So I was like, hey, you never know. Yeah, yeah. Um, but that's it was sick. And then from there, we went to see Tyler the Creator. Okay. We watched the first, I watched maybe like the first 30, 30, 40 minutes. And you caught some. Uh... He brought people out, didn't he? In those, in those three, five minutes? Or yeah, yeah. So he brought out uh, Charles Gambino. Like right at the away. beginning, like, right away? Like one of the th- like third, fourth songs. Oh, like wow. straight up. Yeah. Damn. And then he brought out um, ASAP Rocky. He brought ASAP Rocky. ASAP Rocky? Yeah. yeah. Potato salad. Yeah. yeah. And then like the fire, it was it was like people were going hard. Yeah, I heard his uh, his set, like his stage. And then he brought out some. Yeah. I, don't, I think someone said Charlie Wilson on a piano or something. No, I'm no not idea. Sure. I don't yeah. know who it was, but it was this dude on a piano. Uh-huh. That's when I started walking away because we ended up leaving um, early to, to back to camp. So yeah. what would you guys see at night to close it up? Dom, Dom Dalla. Uh, yeah, Dommy boy. We all met up at the little speakeasy I spoke about earlier. Yeah. <laughs> by the jungle, in the jungle, by the Sahara. In the jungle. Yeah. In the jungle. Do you hear that? Hey, hey exactly. All right, so who are uh, you under watching Dom Dalla? Yeah, we went to watch Dom Dalla. Where were you guys at? Six. On the right? Uh, yeah, so yeah, we, were at, we met up like near the bottom of the hill, and then we kind of just went all the way to the front. And then you just come in through the front of the railing um, to the right side. And we just kind of backed up a little bit. And like at the middle point of the right uh, yeah. screen. Wow. I mean, you can see Dom Dollar right there. The crowd the and crowd. the fest in the background. Yeah. I love that. And Me and Brian been watching that shit for years. You just go around. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it's because everyone, you're, they're walking in and they're just. They just follow the they lights. Just, yeah. They, they follow. No, they just gravitate. Towards each other. Towards oh, the left. All these entrances, but then if you just walk around it. We'll you get to the front. Yeah. You get to the front. There's nobody on the right. You know? It always so, works. Yeah. It always works. So always go to the opposite side yeah. of the entrance. To the, walk there and and you walk a little more, yeah. but it's always worth it. Yeah, know? you might walk like 50 miles, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no. So, Fuck yeah. Dom Dollar dumb, dumb, was sick. But, I know, uh, I heard it was uh, so Nelly cool. Furtado. Oh, I see. For a couple of tracks. Um, he has a dope set. The lighting that he was using, the lasers. Straight so that gas. so that was the thing. Like Steve Angelo had an amazing set and I loved it. But it was missing crowd. It was missing the crowd. Yeah. And Dom Dalla it was packed. Yeah, the bro. Crowd. I mean Saturday, right? Yeah. And it was the Sahara was packed and I mean it was nothing but this. Banger after banger after banger after banger. Damn. Eh, that's eh. sick. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was dope. I had a ton of fun. My night for yeah, sure. I had a ton of fun. Um, then I went to Neon Carnival that night. Oh, I went yeah. to an after party. That's why I left early for Tyler. I left in the like second half. Uh huh. Um, I wish I was a down dollar though. But I want to see a little production, a little headliner. You know, see yeah. what's up, what yeah, he's yeah. about. But um, we ended up going to the Neon. Well, we went to the tent to 
just get some stuff, change, and, and then from there, I was freezing already during Tyler. That's why, too, mm -hmm. I was like, fuck, I don't know how to make it. Like, I was already kind of done with the day after fucking two days or just all that. Right. So I didn't have a sweater because my whole plan was to buy a sweater. But we ran out of time, and then I was like, I got to go. Like, we're late already for Neon Carnival. Yeah, so yeah. so there was no sweater. I was wearing, like, a shirt. There was no sweater. <laughs> so I grabbed the cobija from the truck, and I just was walking around with a cobija at Neon Carnival. <laughs> 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 this is green and black one. Hey. I just walked around. like a salir de la cama. Yeah, and they said, wait, ¿quién lo dejó entrar? Vine por un cereal. Uh, yeah, and then uh, Neon Corner was, I mean, it was 3 a.m., so people were getting on another level, you know? Yeah. It was, um, so they had carnival rides and, like, slides and little Ferris wheels. Everything was free, free uh -huh. drinks, little sponsored uh, things. Um, That's cool. Interactive things, yeah. and then they had a DJ playing that was going hard as fuck. I don't know who the hell that was, but yeah. it was going crazy. The lights were pretty cool, yeah, yeah. and there was a lot of people on the dance floor, but everybody there was like celebrities, and I didn't really recognize anybody, but everyone was there all like bougie and shit, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, it was still like gigging, yeah. dancing and shit though. Huh? That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, no, not as crazy as like re real people we know, but. <laughs> 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 so we were at three in the morning, we were at uh, the Trillium. Right, the oh, stage at the, that's at the, yeah. at the campsite. So everyone after the Coachella Fest that's camping there, we all just go to the Trillium and it becomes like a silent disco. How many people go to that lot? Dude, I mean, Hundreds. so I would put it in the thousands because... Yeah, probably like... Thousands for sure. Yeah, yeah thousands for sure because, Sunday, yeah. yeah, oh, Sunday was packed. Yeah. But um, mm -hmm. but Saturday night was pretty packed too. La Linea, like, it goes around, you know, they have like a little, like a little fence. And you go and you get in line, the... It looks like it's going to take a while to get in, but ah, how long do we wait for Disney rides? <laughs> Two <Yeah. laughs> hours, you know? You might as well get like... For know. 30, uh, one minute ride? <laughs> yeah, it? for a one minute ride. Like that was like a three hour <laughs> set, you know? I was looking on and the Magic so Mountain, Mountain disco. bro. <laughs> yeah, so you, you, get this, you get the little headphones. A, you have two DJs, two channels. You know, the green and the purple, I guess, is the color. Purple, white. Purple, 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 pink. Yeah, so you can switch between. And one's usually playing something more hype, you know, and the other one's playing, like, your hip-hop bangers that you hear. I mean, it's like a club. Yeah. You know, it's like you went from the festival to the club. You know? That's hard. And everybody in there, I mean, those are all the people that aren't asleep, you know. And uh, for a good time. They're here for a great time, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and, you know, you're just at 3 in the morning. Boom, boom, boom. Ooh, and just dancing, you know, and everyone's everyone there is vibing because everyone's there. You're either chilling in the back, sitting, <laughs> going, vibing oh. your head in the zone, or estás en el frente, um, listening to the DJs. And oh, so what we did <laughs> after that, we stayed till four in the morning. No, yo traía una hambre, no había comido nada en todo el día, you know. And, it was like four or five of us. Yeah, and, and I was like, como que hay tacos ahí. No, <laughs> <laughs> hay que ir por unos tacos, you know. I got four tacos and two quesadillas, only asada, at 4.30 in the morning. And then they were playing bangers too. The dude, he was, he was all grilling. He was like dancing and singing. And, um, you know, our, my crew was dancing in behind, you know. And uh, I smacked. Uh -huh. <laughs> and so, you know, we walked back with, with my food. Honestly, I was the only one that ate. <laughs> I, I think my brother, you got some chicken tenders. Oh, yeah, and he smacked them by the time I got my food. Because everybody was starting to like, you know, everyone's hungry. Yes. There's not that many restaurants was, yeah. open at the campsite. You know, the stores closed. You, so you can buy food at the general store um, during the day. Yeah. But yeah, get back to the tent. Unas dos horitas y otra vez de nuevo. Empezar. Y luego empezó el domingo. Day three. Day three. Yeah. Um, day three. Day three, I got back to the campsite como a las, like 2.30, 2.33. You came back to camp? Like at 3. No, 3 p.m. Did you go home? Well, I went to Neon Carnival, mm -hmm. and then I came back the next day at 3 p.m. Mm, okay. So um, 3 p.m., we got there just to pregame to get the day going, you know. Um, third day, fucking fourth day, we count day zero, you know. You got to count um, it. <laughs> <laughs> That's today's day five. <laughs> today's day five. We're still, oh, man. It hasn't ended. Um, so we were going to go see YG Marley, but we're like, man, I do not want to get cooked because uh, on Saturday we started, I think, I forgot who we watched. And oh, I think it was uh, Sublime. It was just too hot, bro. Like, even by yeah. Prague weekend, too, we were in the sun and it just kills your mood. So 
I was like, I, I'd rather skip YG Marty than get cooked. And I'll wait. Um, we went to see Taking Back Sunday. That's where we went. Oh, we went to the Do Lab. Because we were trying to find something to do. We went to the Quasar. But the Quasar, the Quasar No, we went was, to the Sahara. Uh, Who did you watch the Sahara? I went to the Sahara. Oh, no, we went to the Quasar, huh? We went to the like, Quasar, and you were like, oh, let's just spend a little bit of time here. We haven't been here at this stage. Quasar, yeah. So let's we go spent to, like 20, 30 minutes there. At the Quasar, out, when it was know? starting like at 3, 4 p.m. And we were like, oh, yeah, it's getting yeah, hot. Yeah. Let's, go to, um, let's go to the Mojave. Oh, andale, but then see. when we turned around, the Dulab was right there, and that shade with the mushrooms. So, ah, let's go check out the Dulab. And we're hey. like, ah. Yeah. We went all the way to the front, and... And well, we went to the front of, and yeah, then it was just like some heart style, and just doom, doom. I was like, oh, yeah, I, I, I like my it. ears muffled after that. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to put my uh, ear, prote- ear protection. Ear protection, for sure. Protection, dude. Yeah, dude, look, is that loud? Or are you just so close? We were it's because the they have so much bass coming Well, that DJ that was playing, know? it was just straight up yeah, boom, boom, boom. Yeah. 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 It was so cool. it was cool. People were just going hard, and then we're like, oh, shit, um, we, we got to start moving because we had sets to watch. Mm-hmm. And then we're like, hey, we could still catch like the end of Taking Back Sunday. Exactly. So yeah, me and Alan went yeah. to the front front yeah. right of the Mojave. Also, just go all the way front right because people don't go front right. Again, yeah. go walk around to the right. We went to the front. We got to see like the last two songs. It was pretty, pretty lit. Yeah, it was pretty lit. Everybody there was, there was a super fan, dude. And singing everybody was singing. They were wearing shirts that said Taking Back Sunday. Yeah, you know? it was awesome. It was like, cool. Everyone was like just, big old smiles Straight up rock, face. yeah. yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. And they have a really good stage presence. And like again, you know, I love live bands, and they they killed, it looked like they killed their set. Even though we caught the, we caught the last ten. The last minutes, ten minutes. You know? Um, I forgot who we went to see after that. Where did we go? Well, we went to see one of the most. Uh, what would we call it? We had such high expectations, but they fell very low. It's our uh, that's our main man, Karin Leon. Karin Leon, bro. Ah. The biggest disappointment of the weekend, maybe. Yeah, I mean personally. Biggest disappointment. I don't know. I, I kind of, you know, the whole weekend I've been trying to follow like all the Latino acts, and I was like, pues, el domingo pues al ver al Karin, you know? Yeah. I just felt like he started off his set just really slow. Yeah. You know, he, he his setup was really cool. He had this really, like, he has all his tour uh, concerts. You know, he had this big old lion, with his little hat on to the side, and uh, he had his stage was was really nice. But no sé, I feel like. I feel like his track list that he chose was too slow in the beginning. A little mellow. A little mellow. Then he hit you with some country because he's yeah, going to be here three weeks. You know? Yeah, so he's going to be through. Wow. Yeah, For so. Two he, Coachella weekends and stagecoach. Andale, cool. andale. And, uh, and pues finally he plays <laughs> El Huitla Coche. Y pues ahí sí. sí. You had a little moment of, of, of ya yeah, para la raza, you know, a little moment of euphoria. Um, and, you know, it was, uh, but honestly, and it was too hot because you got to start yeah. with a banger. Like, you got to win the crowd because uh-huh. it's hot. People are waiting for you. Like, hey, play something badass. Yeah. But oh, too slow, too hot. And then by the time he played, it was just kind of too late. And people were kind of like, and, you know, yeah. I, there was no energy for him. Yeah. So I don't know. Wait, who's I, that I, playing behind you? I think that's. Dua Lipa? Oh, okay. enamorado, el primo. Easy. No, but I could put it. She was supposed to be like one of the rumors for Coachella. I think she had a connection. No way. No Dua Lipa. Way. That'd be badass. We should put, uh, we should put another video on. Just have, you know, just kind of see a little, little background. You know? Pero, so, so, what do we see after that? Después de Karin León. I, I went to see uh, Eddie Zuko and then we I don't really have much to say. You know, that's the problem. What? With Karin León. It's just like. It was just bland. You yeah, know? I, just, I was really looking forward to it. I mean, if you were like a. Super fan. Yeah, super fan. Super dire fan, and you could be singing along, you know? Yeah, yeah. But for like a, for the typical Mexican. You guys went back to camp, no? After him? No. Um, mm. I, I went back to camp. After, I went to see Eddie Zuko, and then I went to camp. I tried to go to Eddie Zuko. Went, I, went, I, went, I went back to Oh, no, you I went, went to see Nav. How was that? Yeah, how was that? It was Judy Bada, Metro Boomin. Oh. What? No way. Did they do, they do, they do the Colin? Colin? The one from Spider Man into the Spider Verse. Oh yeah, yeah, he did that. Oh, mm-hmm. that's what I wanted to see. Yeah. Fuck. You know, I was shouting out uh, EXO. You know, playing. Uh, I can't think of the song right now. My bad. Um, some way, yeah, some way with the weekend. Did bring out the weekend. Uh, yeah, man. Like, and then because uh, Metro just dropped a new album with yeah. Future, so they're just playing some of those songs, and that's cool. I mean, the crowd are like, it's, you know, just going hype. Going with it. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so the crowd was pretty lit for them? Yeah. Oh, I got to see that one next week. That, I wanted to see them. Yeah, you know, the first brown boy to get it popping. Hey. Where's he from? Uh, uh, oh. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Oh, he's, oh, he's, uh, 
I don't know, but... No, 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 yeah, I don't know. I was trying to see Latin Mafia. Oh, Latin I had to... Canadian. 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 Yeah. Oh, wow. That's cool. Canadian, American. This is not the same thing. <laughs> um, yeah, I was trying to see Latin Mafia. One of my friends went and... Dude, I saw some video footage of his. The crowd was going wild. The crowd was going crazy. Yeah, the crowd was going crazy for, for Latin Mafia. At I think Sonora, I, after too. Uh, Eddie Zuko, I, I caught the last two songs of Eddie Zuko, or like last three. Mm -hmm. It was pretty cool. I mean, the best parts. and I've mm -hmm. seen him twice already. I've seen Eddie Zuko a few times. So I wanted to see him just to, to see him. Yeah. Pero yeah, this was the me fui al camp sound because we got cooked during Karin Leon. The yeah. whole time we're just fucking yeah. burning. So yeah, you need to rest. I was like, hey, I, I need energy for J Balvin, bro, because I, I know that one's going to be oh, super fun. Son, it was J Balvin. <laughs> I, was, I was looking at my list. I was like, why, yeah. why is that not on my schedule? Yeah. So I didn't put J Balvin on my schedule. Uh, it was uh, it's already meant oh, to be. You were trying to say. <laughs> 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 I'm not, I'm not <laughs> putting that. I'm not wasting energy. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't. So what would you have seen instead of J Balvin? Uh, who's that, who's at the same time? If it wasn't him? Uh, Anima, bro. Wait. Anima, yo. Pero Anima empieza antes de ese vato. Yeah, sí, sí, sí. So this week I do want to see Anima and then go to J... Ah, fuck. I was gonna go try to see either see, Barry Can't like Swim or Thames. If that. Anima and then go watch the alien part and the best part from J Balvin. So if you go on yeah. weekend two, J Balvin is the best set to watch. Bro. Yeah, that's 100%. Just straight up. Fire, 100%. Bro. Yeah, I mean, straight it was. Energy. He's, he brought up Will Smith. <laughs> Will Smith, dude. We finally got to the part about Will Smith. Bro, he, you sang his Men in Black song, you know? Bro. How old is that song you were saying? Like 20. So the song came out in 96. 23 years? 96. 28 years. 28 years. Wow. The song's 28 years old. Like, there's people at Coachella that were not born when the song came out. Um, a lot of people, actually. <laughs> a lot of people. <laughs> Well, yeah, like he, he sang. Well, first they he he had like the craziest stage and it looked like a spaceship in the center. Oh yeah. And then they started bringing like alien walk dancers. Walk like, this, right? like a half moon, yeah. Oh, like and then moon, um, yeah. cool like alien dancers, fucking yeah, yeah. lasers, and then he brought out this alien head from the bottom. It's like what the fuck is performing with the yeah, aliens? Yeah, yeah. And then out of nowhere, like boom, like I don't know what happened. And then Will Smith comes out <laughs> and wearing the Men in Black suit. It's I'm like, like he boom. arrived from Earth on Jay Balvin's world. Yeah, you know? I was like, like what? What the what? Will Smith? And then, like, <laughs> we were like, what? <laughs> Like, who's he bringing? Who's he bringing out? We're like, he's gonna bring yeah. out Carol G. He's yeah. gonna bring out like all these people. Rosalia, maybe. Maybe yeah, Rosalia. Yeah, yeah. Who else did he bring out? Who else did he bring? Okay, so yeah, we brought Jolly Randy. Oh, sí, sí, sí. De la Ghetto, I think. Oh. No, tiny. No, no, no tiny. No, no tiny. And then. Uh, <laughs> then Will Smith. Then Will Smith. Hey, Nobody had it under oh. yeah, another Vegas card. Yeah. But that was um that was pretty iconic. Everyone's like, what? Like just blowing your mind. Yeah. And then he did the clicker thing, psh, it raised, and then that screen turned white. <laughs> the thing from the movie where he clicks it. And I forgot went, about him, dude. <laughs> I immediately like somebody yeah. asked me an hour later, yeah, J Balvin, you know, and I was like, who came out at J Balvin? Oh, Will Smith. <laughs> Will Smith. Uh, yeah, I'd already he had already reset my brain, you know. <laughs> um, Sick asset. I mean, it was dope, man. The laser work. I mean, at the end, like, you know, he announces, like, kind of like, this is a new era for me. Yeah. You know? And, and I mean, he's about to go on tour. He's and about to go on tour. Fire, I mean, bro. it's going to be a rave. Yeah. And he's dropping <laughs> a new album, too, now? Uh, probably. Yeah, I think I he mean, announced. So yeah. that's going to be crazy. Yeah, a rave, like a thorn rave, like, just straight up fire. Yeah. He's kind of been, like, a sleeping beast, you know? Like, he had his era. You let other people kind of take over your Nah, he's chain. back. And now he's just trying to come back. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. And it's just going to be fun. Just so many classics. Yeah. Um, then after J Balvin, who do you guys go see? We were just chilling. Uh, I think some people were trying to see DJ Snake. Oh, we went Yachty, bro. That's <laughs> <laughs> he's like, we made a mistake. <laughs> Dude, the at the same time, was Body High by Alesso. Biggest mistake of the weekend. Bro. I saw uh, Atarashi Gako for a little bit. Yeah. Um, at the at the Gobi. Yeah. So we um yeah. we went to see Little Yachty, but we we stopped by Atarashi Gako because it was on the way. Yeah. And then we we saw um the, I think it was like one of the first songs. And it was like crazy choreography and the songs were pretty fun. People yeah. were dancing and like oh shit. Yeah, no, this is, no. looks pretty cool, but I'm like, oh, little Yachty's next door. Fuck it, let's go. We have to we, go. We got to I the front right. I want to mosh. I want to mosh. I'm going to get a mosh, but it's going to be crazy. Yeah. We get there. I don't know how the beginning of the set was, but the last, like, five, six songs, it was just, like, 
like rock and just like him just kind of humming and some other girl came out that's in his label or something he was yeah. rapping but i don't know it was just kind of like, a, it, like, it, like uh, it just kept getting like, like slower rock. yeah like moody mm -hmm. but that's not what i expected at all bro so like once he finished his set i decided to see that instead of going to see dj snake at the sahara which i heard was like one of the craziest sets he brought peso he brought up peso Kodak Pluma. black oh, just straight I up do. i know Dude, that peso pluma track that's Crazy. that is the summer banger, summer banger in all the clubs all around the world, man. That song. Is yeah, so actually, Lil Yachty was one of the most disappointing. But I got to see the. I ran into the homie. His name's Young BC. I ran into him. Mm -hmm. He's. A, I shot a music video for him, and he's been a desert underground too. And then I, 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 he saw me recording. He pulled up next to him. And he's like, "What the fuck, bro? That's crazy!" <laughs> like I, I got him in the. Um, so yeah, we watched Lil Yachty, and then we're like, damn, that's that's whack, because I went from J Balvin, just fucking super it's, it's, sick show. That's, you know, like, con chingo de energía. Like, I want to go, go do something cool. crazy again, you know? And then, Boom. yeah. Mood and then killer. Was, yeah, bus kill. kill. Yeah. And then, okay, cool. Then, then we went to see Doja Cat, because we still had time to, like, uh -huh. watch Doja Cat and then see John Summit at the main stage. Yeah. So we're like, let's watch Doja Cat, you know? Like, it's a headliner, the biggest budget, like we were talking about earlier. Yeah, yeah. Biggest budget. She does have a lot of hits, mm -hmm. and... um you gotta give them a chance, you know. The DJ yeah. is sick as fuck too, but yeah. sometimes you gotta let artists do their thing. You know? Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, dude, I mean, I hadn't seen a headliner at the Coachella main stage all weekend. Yeah, all weekend. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, Steve Angelo, <laughs> not Stevie. Oh, we've been sleeping on him quick. Oh yeah, and uh, so I was like, "Yo, Sunday night, I gotta go watch at least that, one, at least one headliner." Um, and I don't know, I wasn't convinced by the other, the other two. Yeah. Um, Doja but Doja Cat, Doja Cat convinced me. Her choreographers convinced Dude, me. Her vans convinced, her vans convinced us. us. I know. I was like, I was, I was telling uh, you and and my brother like, man, we should probably go watch John Summer. I would know. I you wanted know? to. The beginning was a little there slow. Was, yeah, it was like thirty minutes in, and, and I was like, man, maybe we should go watch John Summer. You know, it was like eleven oh yeah. five. I was like, hey, let's go eleven <laughs> ten. And then this fan next to me, she's like, dude, what are you saying? Like. Doja Cat hasn't really been playing. Like, she's really dope. And you're going to see John Summit. She's like, John Summit has been here every day playing multiple sets all, all, all weekend long. Yeah, all weekend long. Like, you'll, you can see him in Vegas next week. Like, and so I have already seen John Summit a couple times in LA. And I was just like, all right, whatever, you know? I'll see it, John Summit I mean, it's kind another of time, you know? Like, That's why I watched Tyler because I've. You got to, like, at least watch a little bit. Even Lana, too. I, I watched, like, 20 minutes and yeah, then it took off because. Yeah. I'll never see Lana in my life. You know, I'll never see Doja Cat probably unless she's at a festival type. Exactly. Thing. Yeah. So you know. And honestly, like the crowd around us was a good crowd. Oh yeah, they yeah. were singing, the going there, hard. We probably would have. Exactly. Like, Dip. Yeah, decided to leave. Yeah. Yeah. They were digging, like, I was just like, dude. Yeah, they were just. Fashion, and then it started getting better too. The songs, yeah. then like more famous songs mm -hmm, and like mm -hmm. moments. And You're like, oh, I know they this one. They brought a T-Rex out on stage. Oh, the T-Rex. Like, yeah. The T-Rex. Yeah, like a skeleton T Rex. Type yeah, thing. and yeah. she was like rapping to it, and she I was like, "What?" They're like six outfit changes. Yeah, yeah. Was, the, the I mean, dance sequences are crazy, bro. And then the, the people ball. that were dancing on top, like bats and shit. The fur ball. The bro. fur ball, which was really started. just like girls, like, girls or girls people, people, people wearing. Like, yeah, and she was like, she was controlling it. Yeah. I know, and then she started riding one like a horse or something. I'm like, what? <laughs> there was a lot of riding during that. <laughs> You're like, I'm going to go down. <laughs> that was a pretty cool oh, set. I mean, she's an amazing performer. Yeah. Like, that, she, she has she her choreography it. down. And, the only yeah. thing is, she didn't play Say So in like a couple of the famous like songs. That, like, yeah. Yeah. Like, I feel like he should have, uh, she should have ended with like a super fun ending song, you know? Yeah. Like I remember Lady Gaga performing in 2017, mm -hmm. 17, and she closed out with like a fun song with like fireworks and just like on a high moment like you gotta yeah, yeah, yeah. i don't know it the it's like a you gotta play something cool but and she was she had a six set and she she brought a guest uh asap rocky yeah and 21 savage and 21 so. diesel touchdown, touchdown diesel too touchdown, she didn't yeah. even say his name that we just did like a verse and walked out like, <laughs> <laughs> like if people didn't know i only knew because like, he wears those spikes and shit so it's oh, just like okay yeah, yeah, yeah and um i thought it was a little nonsense nice for a second and I, I don't even know Tizo Touchdown only because he was opening for Travis Scott. Oh. And I, I went to see Travis and I saw him open. And then I started, I'm like, oh, this will open for Travis. He's probably going to get like a mainstream push. Uh -huh. So I was like, oh, he'll probably be at Coachella. And then he came out as a guest. So. Oh, wow. 
I don't know if that counts as a prediction, yeah. but you know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, yeah, kind of. So yeah, that was uh, then the Sunday Doja Cat. You know, watch it close out the set. It was yeah. uh, they ended up like in a mud like song. She was like wrestling in mud or something. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It was crazy, bro. You know what's crazy is that when we went to the silent disco that night, <laughs> so one of the workers who worked on that production, he was like, "Man, there was a lot of like uh, mud that was left over." And he was walking around with a piece of mud. We were at the San Disco, and he, yeah, he was like, you want to touch it? And I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, nah, bro, I'm good. Like, are you carrying it around? Street, bro. Going, no, bro, I know. put it in a Ziploc bag. Hey, <laughs> you guys wanted some uh, Doja Cat mud on eBay, bro? <laughs> bidding it, bidding it. Yeah. People pay like a yeah. couple hundred bucks. Nah, you're right. I, I don't know. I didn't think about it. I Damn, like, we should have like, came nah, up with that mud, bro. I, I thought it was weird. Like, you know, some white boy walking up to you, offering you something, says, do you want to touch it? Like, I'm like, nah, I'm good, bro. <laughs> like, get away. <laughs> or it's like 3.30 in the morning, <laughs> you know? Like, what? You gave it a chance, man. Yeah, yeah, you're never right. going to get that one. Bro, bro. But, uh, yeah. No, it was, it was just sick. It was sick. Like, they were like, I don't know, they were kind of like fighting and dancing at the same time. And, yeah. Um, yeah, it was much respect to... To those yeah, Doja and, and her choreography team Shout was out to them. fire. And I, I mean, where she started and ended the show was in that center column. Yeah. So if you want to see, that's like one of the good spots because you'll be able to see the artists passing by, they perform there. Yeah. So sometimes you don't got to camp out the front, you could just camp out right there and yeah. it's kind of chill. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So and it's um, easy access to get out because yeah. when you get into the front and you try to get out, that take forever. It can take you 20 minutes plus. Yeah. You know? And that's if you're camping, if you're in the shuttle, who knows? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got a longer walk. Yeah. All right, so that um, then kind of wraps wraps up the Coachella weekend, and now yeah. the work today that happened yesterday, <laughs> this morning. <laughs> this morning. But today yeah. we're watching Doja Cat like t- ten hours ago. Ten hours. <laughs> Twenty four. Oh yeah. Eight. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> what I time is it, Angel? <laughs> I'm st- I don't even know where I'm at. <laughs> Will Smith fucked me up. <laughs> yeah, he did. Please do it again. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Okay, so if you had to go, if you were going to Coachella again, okay. knowing what you know, knowing what you saw, mm-hmm. what sets would you watch like weekend two? Would you watch the same sets or you would try to watch something different or what would, how would you? Yeah. Um, me personally, if I were to go again, I would try to just experience uh, something new and maybe even by myself. Because I did a little bit by myself. Mm-hmm. And when I would do that, like, you just, you know, you get more intimate and you're not really focused on, like, oh, is everybody good? Like, you know, is everyone here? You just get lost. Yeah, you just get lost. In the yeah, song. side quest, that's the best. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, it was fun when I did that. And I mean, sure, I was kind of worried, like, damn, by myself. But, you know, you kind of got to let that go and just mm-hmm. just enjoy it. Yeah. So I would definitely go check out, um, let me see, who did I not see? Probably DJ Snake. Yeah. For sure. Um, on, what was that, Sunday? Mm-hmm. Um, probably would check out Lana just to get those chill vibes. Yeah. Uh, probably go for like a more chill just because like I already raged hard. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. So I'll probably go with more chill vibes. Maybe hit the Yuma a little bit just to freshen up. Um, and then, I don't know, maybe just go into more, more of the arts of the Coachella. Instead of like trying to catch different sets. Yeah. Yeah. I did walk in a little bit of them and I mean, yeah, it's just... Just change of pace, change, change of... Pace. Change, change of um, Vibrations because like yeah. over here is like boom and lights. Over here is like calm and like yes, mellow, a little like water relax. dripping sounds, yeah, the yeah, low yeah. lights, uh, sensory deprivation type thing. Yeah, so, yeah, no, absolutely. Um, who do you see different? Um, I would definitely go to the Yuma. <laughs> I heard some. Watch, I heard art. Are you gonna watch Bisa it? one more time? Oh, I will a hundred percent watch Bisa one more time. For not that, yeah. For whoever comes out, I mean, he's an amazing producer, and uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing him on a tour sometime, hopefully. Uh, but definitely see Bisa again. Who would I see that I didn't see? Uh, DJ Snake. Who else? Who else? Who else? John Summit for sure. John Summit, I would definitely go. So that's why I saw. I was like, if I do come back a uh, weekend too, who would I close out with? Either John Summit. At the new Sahara stage, or go to the Yuma because hey, I heard we, art. Hey, weekend really two, dope. weekend two. There's a Rufus the Soul three hour set at the oh, Quasar, bro. <laughs> Dude, and I'm so watching that's that. that. Okay, I'm so that's one thing I would do if I came again. I would go to the stage. And then there's Diplo on Sunday at the Quasar. 
back to back with someone, no? Yeah. Uh, it, oh, and then on, on Saturday at Sunset, it's, it's Eric Prides and Anima back to back at the Quasar on Saturday. <laughs> Friday is Roof of the Soul, Saturday is uh, yeah. Latin and Sunday Diplo. So, I mean, that's the thing. Quasar, I'm just going to be at the Quasar all weekend. Then. <laughs> yeah. Quasar, do lab Yuma. Quasar, yeah, do lab Yeah, just EDM, just, just like that. Just and I'm watching no real artists, because, just DJs all weekend long. Because there's people who do that. They literally come to the festival. Just and Just go just, Yuma. Too. Yuma, yeah. Just, just go follow the, the DJs. Yeah, all the and then they are we doing festivals wrong? <laughs> they just watch fun music the whole time. <laughs> yeah. We're here watching some experimental shit. We're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. That's so cool. And that's how I felt about ISO Nog. Like I was like, wow. Like anybody who's going weekend two. Honestly, if I went weekend two, I would go see ISO Nog again. Yeah. Just I'll because. Probably not see them. Not go see Brutal. Oh, Brutalismo's 3000. That's who is missing. That's so I think weekend two, I watch uh, Peso Pluma. That's the only one. Uh, him yeah. and Bizarre. Yeah. Him and Bizarre, okay. pero también uh, Roof is the Soul. I would see Latin Mafia. That's one I didn't get to catch. And I, I didn't even go into Yuma once, so I'll be at the Yuma. Yeah. And then a Dulab. I didn't catch a night Dulab set. And there's probably surprise guests too, so. Yeah. I probably, um, I think Friday night, I'll end it at the Dulab and just see who Ooh. surprise guest is. Because over here, um, I don't care about Lana Del Rey or Steve Angelo, like some weekend once. So I'm like, let me yeah. go see what the hell the Dulab's gonna have, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or maybe at the U. No, 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 U must kind of too too dark for me. It's over. Yeah. <laughs> but it's house music, you know? It's yeah. a lot of house music. I heard Art Back closing out Sunday night was really dope. That's sick. Um, and so, you know, I mean, sometimes you need a little bit of house in your, in in your, your life. life. <laughs> you in know? your house, in your life. And, uh, I mean, I think another thing I would do definitely is, you know, go check out all the booths, you know, see what kind of free shit you can come up on. The Nike one. Yeah, oh, I, know. I know. I heard Nike had like a special like merch and whatnot. And oh, that's sick. Didn't get to shoes? check it, you know? Shoes, yeah, yeah, shoes. Did you guys get the Bad Bunny shoes last year? Um, Brian got some? No, no. Yeah, the line was kind of long. Um, so, I don't know if Brian got Yeah, no, I don't think Brian got it. No, I didn't. I didn't see um, Yeah, but. Uh, but yeah, no, that pretty much. I mean, make friends, you know, yeah. that's the real thing. Like, you know, like everyone there is excited to see who they were trying to see. But at the same time, like, it's exciting to see people who are exciting. Yeah. Excited. Sorry. It's exciting to see people who are excited. Yeah. You know, and. Uh, you can feed off that energy. Exactly. You feed off of everybody's energy, you know, like look for a good crowd around you who knows their songs and they're said and. Man, you're gonna have a blast, and don't be afraid to like check out someone new, you know, like yeah, because that's how you. That's the only way to discover things in life, you know. You gotta try something new. You may like if you don't like it, then just leave, you know. Yeah, like, there's a DJ next yeah, door. Yeah, exactly. Right? There's, a, there's always a DJ next door, <laughs> <laughs> and go and some of the small houses they also have DJs, you know, like at the Absolute. Or you go in, yeah, Absolute has DJs, yeah. or you can go to the Heineken, the Heineken always house, DJs playing sometimes. Yeah, so. yeah, those little small sets. Yeah. At it's... Rolling Loud, one of the funnest things was the Red Bull tent. Like, yeah, the stages were cool, but through the DJs at the Red Bull tent, besides getting Red Bull vodka, <laughs> the DJs were just, I mean, they and had these roll. huge, like, bass speakers, and it was just boom, 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 just hitting you hard, man. That's crazy. Um, that I, didn't, so, I didn't get to see it. Yeah, it was, it was really dope. We, I spent a lot of time in there. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't have my Mexican yeah, artists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the whole weekend, man, it was it was a blast. I mean, yeah. you know, we, we love to camp. and It know. really was so smooth and so cool. It was just so cool this, this year. Like, I remember leading up to it, it's like, oh, the lineup sucks. But it's like, once you're there and you see it, like, in person, you're like... It doesn't fucking matter where the lineup is, bro. This yeah. is crazy. Like that Sahara stage feeling, mm -hmm. main stage production. Like yeah. even yeah. those like a Tarashi Gaku look in the little stages where like yeah. they're just going hard. You're like, damn, this is cool. So yeah, yeah lineup matters, but almost doesn't. It's just going to be super sick. Yeah, so. like I mean. Yeah, with all the guests that they So many A-list guests, the top shows of the year coming up, you know, like everyone's bringing exactly. their A-game, you know. Exactly. Everyone's bringing their A-game, showing getting, something new. It's getting live streamed to millions of people, so every artist is preparing something badass. Because yeah. not only the people in person, but the people online have yeah, to see it. Yeah. Yeah. So some. About. Yeah. Like, oh, who? Yeah. What guests can I bring to make a splash? You know, mm -hmm. take a little bit of the internet's attention to me, because yeah. that's what it is all about. You know, you gotta get that attention. So. Claro, claro, anyway, claro. so that was Coachella 2024 weekend one. Weekend one. We're, we'll I thought see. you were gonna call Antonio Brown. Antonio Brown? Did you say that? Ah, bro. It's, what time is it in Florida? Do you think that fool's awake? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! I'll call, I'm gonna call Antonio Brown in the next podcast. 
Okay, on the next one. On the next All podcast, right. I'll call Antonio Brown. Remind me. I got to call him, actually. <laughs> Don't put it in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, I got to call him tomorrow. Fuck. I'll make a video of me calling Antonio Brown, inviting him to Coachella, because I, uh, we had a conversation like a month ago. Uh-huh. That fool called me, bro. Antonio Brown called me. Wow. On um, Twitter, I, I DM'd him, and he's like, put me in the Coachella lineup. <laughs> 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 he said, Coachella agent, put me in the Coachella lineup. And I was like, I don't got that kind of power. What? He, and I was like, but I could, you know, I mean, I, I, I could send some emails, you know? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, yeah, send some emails. So I was like, all right. So um, I told him, hey, even if you don't get in the lineup, just come to the festival. It's super sick. And then he's like, where's it at? Like, I'm like, it's like two hours from LA. He's like, okay, I'll be in Cali in April. Hit me up. <laughs> and I, I, I got his number, bro. Oh, it's crazy. That's crazy. So um, I call him. I, I gotta call him soon. Okay. I'll call okay. him tomorrow. I'll, we'll make a little update. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching. What was your favorite line. set, though? Number one favorite set. Number one favorite set all weekend. Yeah, all weekend. J Balvin. Okay. J Balvin, just because it was nonstop, but I was number two Pes Pluma, because that was the one I wanted to see the most. And I fucking loved every second. It was fucking crazy. So. That's what's up. And then uh, so I, I definitely. Like, even J Balvin, I feel like I might even be down to skip it mm. because I think there's some other badass shit happening yeah. at that time. Yeah, 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 but yeah. I wouldn't skip as a pluma. Okay. I would watch him twice. So. Yeah, I would too. It's so, not that's coming out this week. Yeah, fuck yeah. That's the prediction. Compadan, compadalo. Thank you guys for joining. I'll make sure guys the vlogs are coming. So on the main YouTube channel, we'll have the vlogs. And these was are in it a lot, so a lot, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of dancing. Wow. Sorry. A lot of <laughs> so make sure you guys. Uh, hey, watch out! Watch out with the churro guys at the that stage. That churro got taken out. I'm gonna take it out with the churro guys. <laughs> we'll tell you guys story next time. Ahí estamos. Uh, make sure you guys like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Jeez.